A glimmer of hope coming from this lab on the University of Pittsburgh. Researchers say they have developed a promising vaccine candidate. Boy, that is great news, and we certainly hope it works out. Channel 11's Rick Earl found out they are asking the FDA to fast track it. The vaccine is administered through the skin. It's similar to putting a band aid on. Researchers say it feels like Velcro and then it dissolves when it's done. It's called a micro needle array, a fingertip size patch of 400 tiny needles seen in this video released by UPMC and made entirely of sugar and protein pieces that dissolve into the skin. The micro needle array is able to do is to deliver the vaccine antigen directly into those areas of the skin that are made to make an immune response. And so it results in a very potent vaccine. The University of Pittsburgh and UPMC began working on the pit COVAC vaccine in late January. It relies on lab-made viral protein to build immunity, similar to the flu shot, and it doesn't need to be refrigerated. We think that the, if immunogenic uh, with the combination of the delivery system uh, can make possible candidate uh, uh, for a pandemic vaccine. It's been successful in animal trials, producing enough antibodies to neutralize the virus. Now researchers here are awaiting FDA approval to start clinical trials on people. That typically takes months, but they're optimistic. We're hoping with the expedited review and all the efforts that the regulatory agencies have made that we can reduce that regulatory process from months to weeks. And they say the vaccine is perfectly safe and delivers low doses to a confined space, hopefully with few side effects. I believe that this vaccine should be effective across all age groups. As we learned with flu, it may require a high, slightly higher doses for uh, uh, more elderly patients, uh, but that uh, has yet to been be tested. Researchers at Pitt say as soon as they get the green light, they'll be able to go ahead with those clinical trials and they'll be looking for healthy people here in Pittsburgh to test it out. They say it typically takes about a year, but they're hoping the FDA will expedite the timeline. In Summer Hill, Rick Earl, Channel 11 News.